This is an extreme power leveling guide designed to get you to level 99 as fast and early as absolutely possible. I will walk you through the entire process from starting a new game all the way to level 99 and beyond. And beyond. Did you know that before you first visit the Osmon Plain, you can get equipment that you normally wouldn't see until nearly the end of the game, such as a Zodiac Spear, Rune Blade, Power Rod, Yake, Defender, Crown of Laurels, Black Mask, Golden Skull Cat, Grand Armor, Maximilian, Minerva Bustier, Hermes Sandals, and the Neho Palaewa. And, in addition to all that, you can get some very useful magic such as Faith, Bubble, and Reverse. You will also be able to obtain every single license and still have enough license points to spare for anything else that comes up. In this case, it's pretty much nothing but Esper's. While you're going through my walkthrough, pay attention to the bottom because I've added annotations providing comments, corrections, and updates to my method. What is power leveling? Power leveling is reaching a very high level with as little story progress as possible. Yes, that does take the challenge away. However, I love the thrill of taking down tough enemies in such short time. There are five major methods. Each method is named after about how long it takes to reach level 99. The faster the method, the more advantages it gets, but it also gets more disadvantages, so it kind of balances out in the end. The first method is what I call the 70 hour method because it takes about 70 hours to reach level 99. In this method, every single character that joins, including every guest, both here and Fran as well, will start at level 99, some of which with even 100 million experience, which is the most possible. You will also be able to obtain every single license on the license board, and still have so many to spare you can practically do it again, if only you could. And it's also the absolute earliest possible in which you can reach level 99 in meaningful time. Just so you know, as you can kind of hint at the bottom, I'm supposed to be going to Low Town, but I have yet to even see Low Town. However, this method is extremely repetitive. 1800 times up and down a course, each run lasting about 2 minutes. Yep, that's a whole 60 hours right there. And you also don't get much gill either, although about half of that is kind of expected but it's still a lot when you think about it, so it's not really that much of a disadvantage. The 65 hour method, which is what my save file here is based on, offers you a lot more gill and it starts off a lot faster. However, it's still just as repetitive at the end and it's a bit riskier, although the risk is not too significant. The 40 hour method is significantly faster than the previous methods, about 70% faster, and it's also the safest of all the methods. You will get a moderate amount of gill, about two-thirds of what I have here, and you'll get four characters at level 99, enough for a full party of level 99 characters. It is moderately repetitive, although still not as bad, and you do need to make considerably more story progress, although it's not really that significant. I'm supposed to be getting the Sword of the Order from Old Dallin. You will also be able to clear about half of the license board. As you can see, I have the entire augment section cleared with 2,500 license points to spare. Both here and Fran, on the other hand, really get left behind. Instead of having the entire augment section cleared, I have but almost nothing available on them, and barely any license points to spend. The 35-hour method is pretty much identical to the 40-hour method, except that you get more gill, about what I have here, since that's what this save file is based on, and it's noticeably faster. You will also get the Hermes sandals, and a little fewer license points, about 500 to 1,000 less. The 25-hour method will show you speed like you have never seen before, really putting the embroidered tip at the shame because you get it so late in the game. The 25-hour method requires the same amount of story progress as the 40 and 35-hour methods, so you'll end up with four characters at level 99 in much the same way. You will, however, get a ton more gill, simply because you're picking up a lot of loot pretty much right along the path. And in addition, it is the least repetitive of all the methods. The biggest downside to the 25-hour method is that it's very risky, especially early on. That's because one wrong move can mean a game over, and I've actually had that happen. Both Fear and Fran get left behind in pretty much the same way as before. 
but you only get about a thousand to five hundred fewer license points as well, although it kind of depends on how things went for you. In this case, I was 700 behind. Had I focused a little bit more on speed and stuff, I could probably get that under 24 hours. I think 23 is the absolute fastest. Of course, if you remove the load times and various other factors, yeah, you can probably get it to about 20 hours. This method is so fast, it's almost ridiculous. Now that you've seen just how fast you can get level 99 so early in the game, how would you like to learn how to do it? Well, that's what this video is all about. First, I need to wait for this. Choose New Game. You'll be asked to set some configuration settings, which is really no big deal. This, I'm not sure what it does. I hate this, big time. When you're ready, hit Begin the Game. And also, be ready to do press start and then X. Why do you want to do that? Well, if by skipping the story scenes and stuff, you save a whole 30 minutes. Start X. Seriously, a whole 30 minutes just from this beginning part alone. Start X. There's one more coming up yet. Basically, if you see the uh, top and bottom being cut off with black, if from like a letter screen or widescreen kind of movie thing. You then. Or if you hear voices, that's when you press start X. Just press X repeatedly and then swivel the camera around. It doesn't matter which direction you do it. Approach Bosch. Rapidly press the X button. Helps. Go up to him and speak to him. Go up to the gate, open the gate, systems loading the next map, here you'll be introduced to battles or the game's battle system, I should say. Just repeatedly press X until you can get an attack going, and then from there, active mode is recommended, but if you can't handle it, use weight, but make sure you max the battle speed. And then the others will come together and take them all out. Next, you'll be introduced to how bosses are in this game. Start X. For this one, just connect three attacks and get thunder ready. Two attacks, three attacks. Keep your distance and let the others use potions as needed. Don't worry about your HP, you just simply take these things out and the others will just use potions if needed. Zone boundary line, that's all that really means. Start X, rush straight ahead, fighting is not really a necessity because there's a little tricky you can actually make use of. It. There's no need to get Rex to level 99, and if you're getting into a fight, all you gotta do is zone out. Just change zones, and it automatically stops all the fighting. 
Very useful trick that you should learn to master. And yes, use the save crystal. Mm, that was a big tilt. I wonder what that tilt is all about. It suddenly leans highly to the left or right, but for a very short time. When learning racing techniques, will save hey, a lot. Start X. And get rid of these three. You shouldn't have to heal, for the most part. Another technique you can do is draw the enemy away. But it does take some practice and technique to master that, however. But once you master it, you can save uh, quite a bit of time. It's not very significant, but uh, you get the idea. You're ready for a lot of start X now. Start X. Start X. Start X. And at this point, you could consider stealing from these three reds, but only steal once. So all I recommend is a single steal on every yeah. enemy along the way. Best if you want to use the Dustia method first thing. But if you don't want to use Dustia first thing, then just attack. Simple as that. You're going off over here, get the intersection. Firestone. That's 35 extra gil in case you're wondering. Okay, so you're going off over here. Just look at the main map, that's all you gotta do. Ready for more Start X? Start X. Yeah, the music restarts. It's kind of silly in a way. Start X. The task here is very simple. First, you need to go cut some corners and stuff, making use of racing techniques. Because that'll help save time and head over to Miguel O'Sundry's over here. You'll have to get ready to start X. Like that. Head north. We're basically straight ahead at that moment. There is no need to speak to anyone here unless they instruct you to, because otherwise you're just wasting time. Go to the sand sea. Get ready for another start X. Right there. This is a required hunt by the story, so yes, you'll have to do it. Just rush through as far as fast as you can. Strangely enough, he doesn't actually do anything, he just stands there, and yet he still, he still gives it to you. But this license tutorial stuff, just rush through it as quickly as you can. Once you're through that pesky license tutorial, see that time he gave you actually something, or at least he acted like that. Whenever you get these hunt begins things, or vanquished, 
pan the camera around and you get all kinds of weird distortions. But yes, equip that item that you just got. You'll have either 127 or 129 HP at this point. See my game facts guide for how HP and MP all work. At this point, all you need to do is head to East Gate. There's no need to buy anything, although we'll be doing that later, but not quite so soon at the moment. East Gate's over here. You ready for a start X? Save at the save crystal. 